Hi, I'm Sabinil Chanu. In this session, I'm going to show you how easy it is to develop a very simple REST API in BW6 from existing Java and SOAP web services. The API will tweet a message and send it to a phone using SMS. The integration with Twitter will be done by invoking a very simple SOAP web service. For sending the SMS message, I will use a Java API provided by Twilio. So let's get started. I'm going to start by creating the BW6 application. Let's call it Hello World. As soon as the application is created, I'm going to create a REST resource. I can do that by using the new BW REST resource wizard. Let's call it uh, Send Message. This is going to be a very simple REST API. It has one post method which will take a string input parameter and will return back a string. As I mentioned earlier, as part of this demo, I'm going to invoke two backend APIs, one implemented in Java and another one implemented as a SOAP web service. The one implemented in Java is using the Twilio SDK to send an SMS message. I have here the Java plugin project that um, contains the, the Twilio SDK, as well as a Java utility class that is using the SDK to send the SMS message. I can expand the Java class in the project tree and uh, try and drop the method that I want to invoke on the diagram to create a configured Java invoke activity that uh, invokes that specific uh, Java method. Next, I'm going to configure the activity to send to, to uh, the phone the message that is sent in the API. And I'm going to also configure the phone number where the message will be sent to. Next, I'm going to use a second API that is uh, exposed as a SOAP web service. Uh, and this API is uh, uh, tweeting the message that I'm going to um, send when invoking the API. Uh, I have here a WSDL that describes the backend service. I can import the WSDL in my project by drag and dropping it on the service descriptors folder. And then I can expand the WSDL um, to access the uh, SOAP endpoint, which I can drag and drop on the process diagram to configure to create a configured reference that um, knows how to invoke that specific endpoint. Next, I'm going to drag and drop the post tweet operation to create an invoke activity that will send the incoming message to Twitter. And finally, I'll configure the reply activity to respond with a message. At this point, I'm ready to test my API. I can do that by launching the application from within Eclipse. As soon as the application is up and running, I can interact with the API. BW6 generates a documentation page for every API that is deployed in it. I can access the URL of the documentation page by interacting with this console. I can issue a command lrest.com to get the URL of this page. I can copy the URL and then paste it in a browser to access this page. Now, before I send the message and invoke the API, let me just open the, uh, my, my Twitter page as well as um, my phone screen. Here it is. That way you'll be able to see both the, the tweet as well as the, the SMS message being sent by uh, BW. Okay, so let's invoke the API. BW6 rocks. As soon as the message is sent, we should be able to see both the tweet as well as the, um, the SMS.
I hope this demo shows how easy it is to develop a very simple REST API in BW6 and bring in existing functionality implemented with Java and SOAP Web Services. Come and join our community and show us what you can build with BW6.